All right, straight ahead, we'll get to this lightweight bout between Michael Johnson and Mark Jacasey. Here's the British lightweight hopeful Mark Chikasey, and I gotta think, DC, in a video game setting, this dude's gotta be pretty fun to play with. Yes, he does have a lot of very striking techniques and things that are very good to see on television. So as your fun match, Mark Chikasey's doing jumping double kicks, so he would be a fun guy, but ultimately, you don't get those skills in the video game unless you possess them in right. real life, and Chikasey possesses those striking techniques that allow him to be as exciting as you see him on your television screen right now. Took some of the pressure off with a recent win over Joseph Duffy, Mark Jacasey, back looking for another win here tonight. one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Johnson is seven years his senior. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Doncaster, England, Mark Bontrachel Casey. And now with the music his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, 18 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Michael the Menace Johnson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready? You ready to fight? Let's go. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but it's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Johnson. Just misses with that one. Body kick now by Jacase. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Good punch, Lance. Oh! Oh, 
he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Whiffs on the straight right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. He's driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head and then landing. Oh, double leg takedown. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Johnson's worked hard here. Now he has the back. Punch over the top. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, He's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make oh, huge right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Landed big shots. Oh! That was a jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, that's a good right hand. Kick there by Jacase. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times John I could have watched this guy shoot takedown the tip without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Great punch. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just missed with the left there. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the first. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to shoot a blind shot and got defended as you would expect him to. Good punch. Johnson gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Man, that cut has really opened up. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. The right hook to the body. this fight. He 
is spent. He has nothing left. You stay All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really hurt. Johnson gets stung by that leg kick. Straight left gets through for MJ there. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. Whoa! He's hurt! He's hurt! He needs to start the finish now. And just like that, the fight is over! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Bocasher, the Akese. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.